today we're gonna feed the cows and spent grains. Stick around and check it out. Welcome back to the farm. I'm Brad with Batchelder Family Farms and today we're gonna go out and check the cattle and feed them using the tractor here behind me. But we're gonna feed them something a little different than we've done on the tractor. Today we're gonna show you uh, some extra feed that we get from a local brewery that we use to feed our cattle. So a few times a week we have a local brewery that helps out us and a couple other farmers and we get their spent grains. Uh, sp spent grains come from a batch of for them is beer that they've brewed that would otherwise go to waste but animals really like um, really like the grains and it's just an extra added feed to them it's not something we put them on solely we always have them on grass on hay minerals protein either in the cubes or the tubs but these extra grains really seem to go very well and our cattle will finish this whole tub which weighs close to a thousand pounds probably 850 pounds they'll they'll finish it here in just a few hours quick check in here on maddie and her six baby chicks they are growing fast and doing well um, as far as we know they have not had they have not been outside she's kept them in here we have their food and water over there in the corner we fill sometimes twice a day because some of the other chickens get their food and the food for the rest of the chickens is up there where the baby chicks can't reach it. But otherwise, they look like they're doing well. Starting to get used to our kids a little bit. They've uh, been trying to pick them up at least once a day. So they're doing well. Keep growing. Get out of the tractor for one minute to open the gate and look who's jumped in. This is a good farm dog right here. Good girl, Bella. <laughs> Cows see us coming. They've been over underneath all those trees over there by where the pond is. We're just driving up and have come out to see what we've got for them. Well, you can see this is definitely a treat for them. They absolutely love the spent grains. Come on, girls. Hey, now. Hey. Hey. Let's see if we can get in here and get the tub back. Hey. Good girls. Good girls. There we got Bolt enjoying some spent grains. Only thing that's a little difficult about it is you can't spread it out as well. We don't feed this to these cows every day. We do it more um, maybe once a week. Trade it out with having a protein tub or cattle cubes out here. 
we feed this a lot more to our pet pigs and the chickens and the goats and our highlands those animals up at the house it really saves saves us a lot of money um, on a weekly monthly basis being able to use these grains we're very thankful for the brewers that let us uh, call us and have us come pick these up it it makes a huge difference on a farm budget and you can tell the cows absolutely love it we've got rubble right here enjoying the spent grains flies are starting to get bad we'll uh, show you something we do with flies here in the next week or so that we use to keep flies away we've used it for a few years now and we've had a lot of success so it's quite interesting to uh, see how we do it but should have that ready should be doing that here in the next couple weeks and hopefully we see a lot less, less flies on our cows Got to clean out the tubs before we return them, make sure they're nice and clean and bring them back so we can pick up some more grains when they're ready. Everyone, thanks for following along today. That'll do it. Just out here with the cows as they're finishing up the spent grains. So thankful for those to those local brewers that provide those to us and the partnership we have. It's really an invaluable part of, of our farm here and really allows us to keep growing this herd and and the kids to have their pets and able to afford those bills so very very thankful hope everyone stays well and we'll see you back here real soon